So Luda and I, in the middle of a somewhat powerful snowstorm, decided to check out a temporary seven-hole pitch-and-putt disc golf course that's set up on the local football field by a nearby sports store that does sell discs in the shop. Now, this was our second playthrough. We did one quick run to see if she could map it out, and then we gave it a shot. So, Luna, are you ready? Are you ready? Go find the basket. And without any trouble at all, she found the first basket. The first time we played through, she wasn't sure where it was, so she just went out kind of in the middle. Um, I'm actually <laughs> pretty impressed that she just did that. <laughs> For the uninitiated, Luna is a disc golf dog. That is her job, that is her life. Because she's a border collie, she loves to work, and disc golf is her main focus, but we do a lot of other activities. We do freestyle frisbee, so she can certainly catch a frisbee if uh, that is what the activity entails. But uh, when it comes to disc golf, she's really not supposed to be touching the discs. She's only supposed to be monitoring them. So usually she runs ahead, um, she perches under the basket or somewhere on the fairway where she can watch us throw. And by us, I mean we sometimes play in groups and she can keep track of multiple discs at a time. She always knows where they are. She always waits by my discs and um, always is watching those in particular. But if somebody in the group asks, Luna, where's my disc? she'll go right to it. Okay, good girl. Now, the reason I trained her for this is because I got tired of looking for discs. It used to drive me crazy, so I spent, uh, you know, girl. a good two and a half years working at this. Um, what's really been amazing is watching her explore new courses. Now, I missed the first drive on this seven-hole course, but uh, I'll show what happened after I threw. We'll see if Luna's able to find it. She seemed to have lost track of it, which does happen in these conditions. Oh, but she has no trouble. There it is. She found it. Okay, thank you, Luna. Thank you, can you go back to the basket? Excellent work. Okay, go find the basket. And she did it again. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm pretty blown away. Still got it. All right, this one is a mere 100 feet. Jump mutt, jump putt material, jump mutt. Huh. I'm gonna do a jump mutt, Luna. You're not a mutt, you're purebred. Okay, find the basket. Wow, perfect, perfect. Luna is a about two and a half year old working line lineage purebred border collie. I chose this breed for its high work ethic and social ability. I did not get her from a puppy mill. Her origin right. story is available in my YouTube profile for those who are curious. Very easy. Yeah, I know, I got it, I got it. And find it, find the basket. Let's go. Go all the way. No, not that one. Keep going. No, 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 no. All the way across. Keep going. Away. Oh my goodness. I am actually blown away by this. Now, I know she's smart. <laughs> but, wow. I mean, the first time she was back and forth, had no idea where we were. Second time, a little bit of instruction, she figured it out. This one's 195 feet. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Can I throw 195 feet in these conditions? <laughs> I don't think I can do it in any conditions. But hey, let's give it a shot. Oh, okay, a little low, fly, baby. All right, that is short. But it's potable. It's potable. I was not trying to throw low. Completely missed my line. 
And by puttable, I mean I'm very likely taking a par here. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Very good, Luna. Very good. Okay, go back to the basket. All right, no problem. Now, can you find this basket? It is in the soccer goal. Go find the basket. No. So I accidentally filmed the first playthrough in slow motion. I sped it up in post-production and now I'm adding this narration. You can see here where she is struggling to find this basket the first time through. It's difficult to see, uh, it's black, it's hidden inside the goal, it doesn't make any sense to her. But I do give her directions and she is able to find it. Keep going, go away, go find now it. the second time, she finds it with very few instructions. Walk. Very good. Ooh, got metal. Not the metal I was hoping for. Thank you, yeah, you're barking at the disc now? My goodness, you're excited. All right, it's in. Yeah, I know, thank you. Go find the basket. Now, funny enough, she knows exactly where that basket is. Okay, wrong basket first. Nope, next one, go. And yeah, that's all it took. A little bit of instruction. And sit. Easy shot, easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. When life gives you lemons, you accept it and move on with your par. Are you ready? Are you ready? For those who don't know Border Collies, she absolutely loves the snow and is not cold at all. And that is no problem for her. Her safety oh, no. and comfort is my number one priority, um, but she really adores the snow. She goes outside, runs around in circles every time it's snowing. Just another day in paradise. And you know what? I can't accept that. Bring. Occasionally, I do have her bring it back to me so I can recut. Yeah. Let's fix that. That was terrible. That was no effort. And that is in. But she doesn't keep score, that so is in. it all works out in the end. All right. Yeah, I know.